Guten Tag and welcome to my Kerbal Education Series. In this video I am going to show you how math is used in science to explain the world. In case you don't already know of course. You may know some of the following topics. Functions, derivation, differential equations. This is the stuff my nightmares were made of when I was in school. My teachers were good in explaining what basic math is used for, like addition and multiplication. But they gave up on it at some point and just focused on the how and no longer on the why. With a lack of interest my grades went right through the floor, you can imagine. I really hope your teachers do or did better. If the answer is no however, don't worry. It is never too late to begin being good and so it happened that even I passed all of my exams. So here we go guys. Is there anything cool you could use math for just for fun? Is it cool to calculate how light waves get refracted inside a magnifying glass? Is it cool to calculate where to put your router in the basement? Is it cool to calculate if Jebediah will get hot feet or not? W wait, what? If your answer was yes at some point you may want to consider getting into science. Or you already are. Interests vary so you don't have to be too hard on yourself. This might get a little confusing now but let me explain the last part with Jebediah to give you an overview about what you need to know if you want to simulate the world. As mentioned Jebediah volunteers and stands on these metal plates. Turning the rocket engines on you can imagine they get quite hot because metal conducts heat. While you cannot see the heat in the plates, you can see it in this nozzle here. It's nothing different. Real rocket scientists calculate exactly what you are about to see to avoid exploding engines. Now this sketch shows how the heat starts at the borders and over time propagates into the middle. Each of these lines can be seen as a function which shows the temperatures on a specific location on the plate at a single point of time. We need many of these to show how the heat inside the plates gradually changes. The question now is how do we find those functions? The answer to this is differential equations. While solving a regular function leads to some sort of value. Solving a differential equation leads you to the function. I won't go into much detail here because it would go beyond the scope of this video I think. It's just important to note that differential equations basically give birth to functions. Just in case you were wondering where they are coming from. There are of course all kinds of differential equations which relate to different problems as we have seen earlier. Our problem here has something to do with heat distribution. It doesn't take long to find the correct one because its name is quite intuitive. The heat equation. In school you learn it the hard way and you solve it manually. Thanks to modern technology however there is a neat shortcut. This shortcut allows the computer to directly calculate numbers from any differential equation. Such a shortcut is called numerical approach or a numerical method. There are different methods and in order to understand it you have to understand how a computer calculates. Calculating the temperatures inside such a plate for example requires you to set some boundaries. A computer can't calculate an infinite amount of values all over the plate. It would take forever. Instead we set a finite number of elements or points. The computer now calculates all the values on the plate for a single moment of time. This could look like this. Each calculated element is represented by a pixel in this grayscale picture. The color represents the temperature. White is very hot while black is rather cool. In order to see the temperature changing we need to do another calculation for another point of time. This process is repeated over and over until you have enough frames to make a little movie out of it as you can see here. This of course looks very boring compared to the previous ones. You can of course make it a lot more appealing feeding these pictures into an animation program like Blender and it might look like this. 
I chose to translate the color of the pictures to the height of the plane you see below Jebediah, which refers to the temperature of the plate, like the function did before. The higher it will rise, the hotter it gets. Jebediah's boots, however, can only withstand a certain amount of heat. If the plane in the simulation touches his feet, he gets burned. Which is of course completely made up by me. Are you ready to test if he would have made it? Let's turn on the engines. You can see how dramatically the temperature rises on the edges and how it propagates into the middle. As you may know, the metal plate not only absorbs a lot of heat, but it also radiates it. This radiation gets stronger the hotter the plate is and it has to be taken into account in the calculation. If Jebediah is lucky, the radiation will get as strong as the amount of heat it absorbs before the critical temperature is reached. There you have it guys, it came to a stop. This situation is called the steady state condition. The input is as high as the output. The temperature stays steady and doesn't change anymore. We can now turn the engines off again. As you can see the temperature in the middle decreases slower as the one on the outsides. This is because the higher outside temperature still heats up the middle until it reaches the same level. After that as you can see the complete temperature drops evenly. I will repeat this now without me interrupting it. And again just because it took very long to get this done. Ok guys, that's it. This is how you can use math to explain the world. As I have shown you in the beginning, the heat equation is just the tip of the iceberg. There is so much more cool stuff waiting for you to explore. Don't give up guys, and even if you already have, there is no reason not to give it a new try. Math is the answer guys. The answer to everything. This concludes the video and I hope to see you in the next one if you like. Auf Wiedersehen and thank you for watching.